hello welcome back so today is going to be a December wrap up. What I read in December, what books did I hate, what books did I like. I read 17 books this month. So the first book I read this month is The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. I think I gave this four stars. It's set in the workplace, it's enemies to lovers, there's fake dating involved. The main character Elena has to go to a wedding over in Spain and she told her family that she had a boyfriend. Like she had a boyfriend, she didn't. This guy in her workplace called Aaron overhears this and you know he's been in love with her for a couple of years it's pretty obvious in the first page he volunteers to be her date and they go over to spain pretending that like they're in love and that and then they actually become in love the reason i give, didn't give a five stars is just because for me it was insta love <laughs> i know it's not in less than 100 pages it was so evident that he liked her it was still a really good book the next book i read was the on honeymooners by christina lauren very similar to the spanish love deception so if you like the enemies to lovers this one was fake marriage um, there was a wedding involved too it's practically the same book as the spanish love deception so if you like that one read on honeymooners next book then is malibu rising by taylor jenkin reed and this is the first book i read from taylor jenkin reed and i thoroughly enjoyed it i gave it five stars i think this is a historical book too because it's set in 1983 it's seeing a glimpse into the reva family who are a really well-known family and how they became well-known and it was a really interesting book i highly recommend going along with the taylor jenkin reed bandwagon i read the seven husbands of Ev evelyn hugo and i think this is my favorite book from taylor jenkin reed so far i've read three it was just so interesting and i love evelyn hugo she's such a strong determined character loved her loved hearing about how she became famous and what these seven husbands did for her this is also a historical novel i feel like the three books I read anyways from Taylor Jenkin Reid, they're all historical or they're set like 1980s, 70s. A magazine reporter interviews Evelyn Hugo about her life. She really reminds me of Marilyn Monroe, especially because of the, um, the hair. It was a really good book. The next book I listened to was Love Her and Loser by Tessa Bailey. I gave this book four stars. Fix Her Up was the f is the first book in, a, in this trilogy and i actually really preferred the second book than the first one i didn't really like the first one that much because it didn't start anew if that makes sense like it wasn't guy and girl you know they start talking they like each other this one was already in the relationship the two main characters were married but the guy main character i can't remember his name but he went off to war and he came back and he was different and it, oh my god this book talks a lot about love languages and how you're able to find your love language they were trying to solve their marital problems that you wouldn't think would be interesting but i thought it was so interesting i much preferred this one over the first book in this trilogy and the third book which i also listened to audiobook so i also listened to tools of engagement which is the third book in the trilogy i gave this book three series i did not like it as much they're all romance books so they're really smutty if you're really into dominant males this trilogy is really good the main character she suffers from perfection like needing everything to be perfect because she thought that was the only way people would like her if she was absolutely perfect or the only way her family would like her it's kind of an age gap too because she's a lot older than him but that's not a factor in the book at all really that much i was just trying to finish the book to be honest but it was okay but then i read volume three and volume four of paper girls they're graphic novels they're just really quick and easy to read and they're interesting too they kind of like deal with the future and the present these group of girls they were originally newspaper givers i don't know thrown newspaper at people's houses then something alien like happened like currently right now they're in the future i'm giving all these graphic novels four stars because i mean they're really good then i read escaping from houdini by carrie mascal show this is the third book in the stalking jack the ripper series and this one was set in a boat oh well, there's no getting away from the killer because it's a boat yeah unless you go swimming it's a boat audrey rose and thomas cresswell are such interesting characters and i love i love i love i love how thomas cresswell deals with audrey i know that sounds terrible but he lets her do whatever she wants this book kind of featured a love triangle but you can just see the respect thomas has for audrey and he was saying like whatever you choose i'm totally okay with it you can do whatever you want these books are set in like the 1800s so back then you know males were constantly in control of women it was so refreshing to read about thomas and how how chivalrous how amazing he is he's such a great character it's the first book stalking jack the ripper there's been a murder audrey rose and thomas cresswell they deal with dead bodies like dissecting them and seeing i don't know the organs and stuff so they're like detectives who's killing all these people really love the series i finished the series by finishing capturing the devil the last book in the 
quadruplet. It's a four book series. There's been a lot of murders. Audrey Rose and Thomas Cresswell are trying to find out who did it. I can't tell you that much about this book because it is the last book. These four books were so amazing. I really enjoyed them. Then I read a Christmas book and this was the most random book I ever picked up from the library. Um, it's called A Christmas Gift by Sue Moorcroft and it's how do i describe this book adult romance to be honest it didn't focus that much on the romance the main character georgie she's in charge of like a christmas show and she has this ex-boyfriend who used to live with her but he gave her all her debts so she's almost homeless there's debt collectors showing up in her door has to pay for her dad and her sister because her sister spends so much money someone from her childhood comes back as you know, childhood friends to lovers. It was a good book, quite sad. I gave this four stars. Oh, also I gave the two last books in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series four stars too, I think. Then I read the iconic, the well-loved and well-known Midnight Library by Matt Haig. And surprisingly, this book was okay. Three stars for me, it was grand. It wasn't amazing. It didn't change my outlook in life. Yes, it made me think about my regrets a lot more because the main character basically opens a book and just sees all her regrets. One of her regrets was not becoming a really well-known swimmer. So she goes to that life and sees, would she like it? Like, will she stay here if she likes it that much? Really interesting concept. It's just that the main, the characters, I didn't connect with any of them, mainly because the book is so short. Does it deserve the hype it gets? No. And then after that, I read my first manga. I read Death Note Volume 1. And I think this one's called Boredom and oh it was actually really cool i was so confused at the beginning because you read right to left this monster drops his death note in the human world and this kid picks it up and basically you can write down anyone's name and they die which is kind of cool so he's trying to do good for the world and he's killing criminals but um obviously the government are not liking this and they're trying to track this guy down i think i gave it four stars but i can't wait to read more of this series the next book i read i gave five stars because i wholly enjoyed it it is love in other words by christina lauren and this is a great childhood friends to lovers book it was a really sad book because it dealt with loss of family members it's the main character her and her dad bought a holiday house and of course next to the holiday house a guy that's her age and they become friends so it goes from past to future so the future then she's marrying a different guy she doesn't really love him she's just doing it because you know yolo let's marry someone her childhood lover comes back into the picture and we see how she deals with that they stop talking to each other um because of a certain event event that happened and it was just so beautiful to see the story unfold. It was so amazing, highly recommend. Next book I read was Blood Truth by J.R. Ward. And this is the fourth book in this, the Black Dagger Legacy series. I think it's the final book too. He's a male character, he's in the Black Dagger Brotherhood training program. But in this one, there's kind of like detective work too. It's similar to um, Stalking Jack the Ripper where there's been a couple murders and he is involved in it slightly. He meets this woman. He loves her, become mates. I enjoyed it, I think I gave it four stars. The last book I have read this month is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I gave this book five stars. It was unreal, unreal. The format of the book was really interesting. It seems like the author is interviewing these band people. So Daisy Jones and the Six is a band in from the 1970s, 1960s. And it seems like she's interviewing everyone from the band and everyone who was, you know, part of the band. So back then, they did so much drugs. Everyone was an alcoholic. Two of the characters in this book really suffered from drug addictions. And you can just clearly see how they don't want to have this addiction. I loved it. It was great. Five stars. Currently, I'm reading The Nightingale by Christian Hanna. I'm also reading Saga Volume 5. So I might actually finish Saga Volume 5 before 2022. But I'm currently still reading it. So I'm not finished it. So I can't put it to this wrap up. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.